Assalamu alaikum everybody and a very warm sort of Welcome back to the Sam of Somalia channel. I hope you guys are all very well today. So in this video, what I'm going to do, because of popular demand and because you guys voted for it, we're just going to do a little review of uh, Liban uh, Ahmed's uh, revision, Somalia grammar revision. So we're going to talk a little bit about just uh, all the stuff that you guys talked about, really, you know, we're going to run through the structure of it, what I like about it, what I think could probably be improved upon. And um, yeah, we should have a little, little, little walk through it. So the first thing I'd say is that it's a lot smaller than I expected. Do you know what I mean? When you, when you see it on Amazon, um, I kind of expected it to be like a big reference book. However, having said that, it is packed with useful stuff. And actually, when you actually start to get into it, you actually realise how talented the author is at making Somali language simplified is actually incredibly talented at taking things that are actually, you know, a lot of students might see as quite complicated and simplifying them and making them smaller. Like, when you can think about a revision of the Somali grammar being fitted into something so small, it's um, it's quite reassuring, actually. Like, and, and, and the font is small, do you know what I mean? Like, there are verb tables like this, and the font is really small. It probably could have been made a book twice the size, you know, if the author had chosen to just bulk it out with fluff but the author didn't so actually I'm, I appreciate that in a way um, the book I believe the hard copy is on Amazon for I've written it down uh, 7 49 on Amazon so that's the Kindle the Kindle is 4 79 but the paperback is 13 pounds um, you know if, I mean considering it's Somali right like Somali language resources you would expect to be quite expensive because languages that aren't so aren't so heavily taught Obviously, the publishers don't sell so many, so you need to sell a lot of them. Like Martin Orwin's book, which I first wrote from, I've got the other books down here, um, you know, that I'll talk about on this channel soon, inshallah. I mean, Martin Orwin's book, uh, Colloquial Somali, this is like £50. Like, if you want to buy this and get the audio, you're looking at spending £50, and it's quite hard to get hold of. So, I mean, when you consider that, it's not that bad, yeah? The other one... The dictionary of Somali verbs is the same size, yeah. Which leads me to the um, which leads me to the conclusion that they're not actually published by a publishing house, although it does say author house on the back of it. That they're actually um, they're actually printed by Amazon. I've the only reason why I know that and I can recognise the print on it is because I've printed books for Amazon before. I don't know if you guys remember. I kind of. I wrote a small book just called The Sam of Somalia Diary. It's about 10,000 words. And I published it, but I, um, I, I brought it back because I wanted to make it better before I sell it to you guys. Um, but yeah, I know because it's exactly the same size and print and stuff like that that's available and the same formatting and stuff that's available. So, um, so it's like print on demand through Amazon, which is probably why you can't find it in, any, you can't find it in Waterstones or anything like that. Not, not that Waterstones supplies Somali language learning books, but um, yeah, good. Okay, so is it suitable for beginners? Good question. Um, Yes, depending on what you mean by beginner. Not an absolute beginner. Like, if you know no Somali and you pick up this book, it'll confuse you. It'll be really, really confusing for you to pick up this book. And also, it's not a sentence book. There's no exercises in it. There's no places for you to fill in the gaps or for you to, um, you know, pick out vocab or for you to do any translations. There's no exercises in it at all. It's just a reference grammar. You know, that's, that's just what it is. It's just a reference grammar. Differently, obviously, to Martin Orwin's book, which is full of sentences and drills and, you know, stuff for you to practice and do translations and stuff like that. So, um, so it is suitable for beginners. And actually, I think it's a really good supplement. Like when you read the reviews that are on Amazon as well for this book, it's a really good supplement to Martin Orwin's book. Um, which is absolutely what I found. I mean, I kind of wish that I had this when when I was when I was studying Somali at university. Um, yeah, and then something else that which was such a relief to me when I saw this because because really the only real resource that I've learned Somali from, like grammar resource, is Martin Orwin's book. Um, you know, and then my in-laws. That's pretty much my only. You know, those are pretty much my only references for Somali. But the thing that that pleased me so much when I opened this book is that. Somali grammarians at the moment are keeping grammar terms consistent. So in Martin Orwin's book, when he talks about different types of verbs, he gives them the terms 1, 2a, 2b, 3a, 3b, right? And those are just, you know, like different forms of verbs. For those of you who have learned Arabic before, it's just different forms of verbs. And, um, and Liban Ahmed does the same, you know, also uses the term 1, you know, 2a, 2b. And as an Arabic language teacher, a huge part, a huge bit amount of confusion that I need to dissect, which I need to like um, explain for my students is that the Arabic tradition uses such radically different terminologies than like in than like a, a Western 
teaching tradition does. But in Somali at the moment, with the industry being smaller, like there's a smaller number of people who are teaching Somali, they're using the same terminologies for verbs, they're using the same terminologies for nouns, they're saying declensions of nouns and stuff like that. If you don't know what those are, you will, if you get hold of the book, inshallah. So that was something that I thought was so good, like I was so excited by that, that like, it, it will make Somali language teaching for people of the future a million times easier. Yeah, that, that, that these two authors who are completely different, I mean, completely different backgrounds, that they use the same terminologies, which is really cool. Um, that's everything that I actually had written down that I wanted to talk to you guys about, inshallah. Um, put anything in the comments, inshallah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, obviously, you're very welcome to do that. If you have anything in particular and you, you'd rather DM me on Instagram, go ahead. You'd rather message me on Facebook, you can go ahead. All the links on my other social medias are in the description. And then our last thing is, if you buy this book, use my affiliate link in the description, please, um, because I'll get a small commission. That'll help to support the channel. That'll help that'll help me to get a microphone that I'm really excited about getting at some point so if you do that um, and you support the channel inshallah by buying just through my affiliate link only if you're going to buy it anyway don't you know I'm not asking you to go and buy it if you did I'll just ask you to give me your £13 so, yeah, rather than you going and buying it but if you're going to buy it anyway use my affiliate link inshallah and it helps support the channel that's everything for this video if you have any questions as I say just get in touch and uh, if you enjoyed this video and I really hope you did don't forget to like and share it and never forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next video Assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته